Here we come to the uh, final presentation of uh, today's session. So this is coming from DMAC. Uh, Rene Schuller, head of uh, product marketing Europe from DMAC is going to talk on uh, infinity power, drive your green future by innovative N-type crystalline silicon solar modules. Rene, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Ravan, for the very kind introduction and for the invitation to join here the very uh, interesting second day in the webinar. Why sharing the screen? Yeah, I'm more than happy to introduce today the DMAC Solar. We will have a quick look um, to the group DMAC Solar and the Hengjiang group, where we come from, what are we doing, and then entering to our latest N-type solar modules we showed doing the SNEC and uh, Inter Solar with some highlights. Uh, at the beginning, let's have a look to who we are, where we come from. DMAC is a part of the Hengjiang group, which was founded in 1975. It's now one of the largest um, private companies in China in 2021, we had an annual turnover of um, almost 100 billion yuan, which is like equal to 13.6 billion uh, euros. We are active in more than 150 countries and have um, currently roughly 58,000 employees. Um, we are working in four main sectors. The first one is the electrical and electronics, where also the DMAC is located. The second one is the pharmaceutical and healthcare. For the third one, I guess all the Asian attendees, they are really familiar with Hengdian due to the film and television industry. So for the European colleagues, um, we can let them know that it's something the same as Hollywood for the US in the film industry. No? And then the last one is advanced services. So overall, the Hengdian group has been included in, for example, Chinese top fund Feinfeld enterprises or Forbes top enterprises. Um, and DMAC was found five years later in 1980. And the DMAC is one of the largest renewable energy enterprises in the world. We are the largest manufacturer for permanent magnetics worldwide. Um, for, to give you a number in the automotive industry, in every car, we are at least like 90 to 100 uh, magnets. And the second business unit is for us the um, storage business for electronic devices where we provide those LFP storage cells. And the third one, that's why we are also today here and attended the SNEC and InterSolar, of course, is the solar unit where we started in 2009. And overall, the DMAC Magnetics is one of four stock listed companies. And since the beginning in 2009, we shipped now more than 29 gigawatts. Our headquarter is in uh, Hengdian. You can see 17 gigawatts out of those uh, were cells, 12 gigawatts for module, and green marked in this map are our manufacturing bases. In comparison to other manufacturers, we have a clear focus on Europe, more than 70% of our volumes goes to Europe and um, the colleagues in the Benelux region did a very great job. We have um, more than 30% market share for more than a decade now we are working there and Pineca is our European headquarter. And uh, when it comes to um, full black module with long-term reliability, then DMAC is a perfect choice. Additional to this, we have a brand office in Frankfurt and also further regional offices, for example, in, in the French market and also in Spain. In the next years, we will continue with our international strategy. We will put the focus also to other countries. We started, for example, in Australia with a regional office and also South Africa, for example. And probably also we will increase our manufacturing basis. At the moment, we produce in those marked uh, regions for our latest N-type, Top one plus cells we produce in Ibin in the Sichuan province. Um, we will have in some days the first phase done. We have six gigawatt. And as you can see on the picture on the left side, already the construction is done for the second 
ramp up where we can increase again to plus six gigawatt. Um, that means at the end of this year, we will have 14 gigawatt cell capacity and 12 gigawatt for module capacity. And through the second and third phases during ramp up next year, we can go to 20 gig for cell and 19 gig for module. By the way, in the Sichuan province, we already have now 80% of the renewable energy we will use for our production. And there's a clear target to achieve this even far beyond to 100%. So there's a lot of hydrogen and with wind and PV projects, we are more than confident to achieve this. For the next one to 1.5 years, for sure, we will continue also with our ingot and wafer production in the Henan province, uh, where we provide like smaller wafer designs, uh, G1 M6. Those are for repowering projects uh, very important. So overall, you can see um, we will continue, of course, also in uh, our existing manufacturing bases uh, where we produce currently perk. Uh, but step by step, then we will also upgrade this to further cell concepts on n-type substrates. When it comes to production traceability, DMAC takes it really serious. We can trace down from the solar module to solar cell, ingot, wafer, even to the uh, silicon material. So DMAC is one of the few companies in the solar industry, which is SA8000 certified. Um, we do even much more what we did in the past with the path when it comes to sustainability. So we really want to go into the sub-supplier audits for our main material suppliers, class, EVA, backsheet, to so go step-by-step step through the whole supply chain. Um, for all our efforts we did so far, we received also several uh, rewards. One next to the SA8000 is from Eco Vardis, where we received the award in this year. And we will also continue our great relationship with Solar Power Europe, where we're also a member and working closely together in the Solar Stewardship Initiative, the SSI. And during the InterSolar, we signed also uh, a very good cooperation. We are more than happy regarding this with the Munich AA insurance for our European um, main central region for project business, which really can be an asset for our customers. Next to this, the topic ESG is for us not only the name. So DMAC takes it also really serious. So we started in 2008 with uh, several uh, social responsibility reports. And in March, and this year, we published for the first time together with the TOV Note our environmental and social governance report. In addition to this, carbon footprint is also an important fact for us. Of course, efficiency is one topic, but also regarding uh, sustainability and also further reductions of uh, silver or carbon footprint is really important for us. We are really strong in the French market. So the colleagues that were also since 2017, an excellent job. We have a market share of more than 40%. It's pretty impressive. And we obtained several LCA values from ADEME for our PERP modules, and then also for ingot wafer cell and module. And we have a close cooperation also with the Zertisolus as a test institute together. And we up, uh, updated our uh, LCA of the French PPE2 phase. In, in March, and we will continue also what I said with our 100% green factory approach to provide for all of our modules, solar modules for the worldwide use, a really good carbon footprint. Um, this is a little bit to the background of the company. And now let's enter into the N-type products. Of course, we will continue with huge R&D and quality efforts. It's all above um, IOC third party testing. We heard doing both very interesting talks a lot regarding new wafer formats. DMAC did the decision so far to continue with the half cut cell and the M10 wafer format. So with 182 and 182 millimeter, because there are still a lot of customers who are requiring those formats um, also due to um, mechanical load requirements when it comes to flat roof mounting systems was also Marcus Fischer mentioned yesterday during the ITRPV, there's a huge market share, 20 to 30% for flat roof mounting systems. And then we see some further advantages also when it comes to hail tests, for example, in Central Europe. Addition to this, well known SMBB, we will continue with this also the same as the lossless laser cutting and also the B facial, uh, which is now also the standard. Um, but now let's have a look 
um, to the end type and especially to our full black module where we are really strong with this end type. We also had to look uh, in the past regarding the future where we will go. And of course we came to the end type with a top on plus cell where we are using a ultra thin tunnel oxide layer on the back of the solar cell. We don't have to go into details. Now the attendants are all very familiar with this. At the end, we increase the efficiency of the solar cell due to the fact that we have passivated contacts. So we reduce the recombination and we also decrease the contact resistance. The Topcon Plus cell is for us the main uh, cell concept where we will go into the next uh, production phases. And then additionally to this, we will continue with the R&D efforts to bring also a cost sensitive back contact cell, probably uh, beginning of 2025. But this is um, in the future, at the moment we consider on Topcon. So overall with the, the Topcon cell, um, we have the further advantages. You are more familiar with this, of course, due to all the talks, we have better temperature coefficients. We have a better low light performance. We have an improved B facial factor. So especially for projects business is a clear advantage in comparison to P-type perk. We have also a reduction in the levelized costs of energy and also the balance of systems costs, um, roughly indication three to 4%. And of course we can, in, um, decrease some degradation mechanism. For example, when it comes to light induced degradation, it's less than, we can say almost zero, but it's less than 1%. And also we have the light and evaluated temperature induced degradation, which is really stable. So all in all, a very reliable product. Before DMAX starts with uh, entering into new markets with new products, we do much more than the standard IEC 612, 15, 6, 17, 13 and further tests. So we go far beyond two times to three times IEC is a must for us. So we have a full scenario of reliability tests. And of course, companies can say a lot, um, but when you have an external independent institute like Fraunhofer ESE, the JET in Japan or the TOV Rheinland in Shanghai, then they can provide you even like a further asset of, as, a, as a customer. And we started in March this year with external um, reliability tests. So we call it the stress test due to the technical specification, the 63209. And this is at the end a real asset for the for the customer because we provide a higher reliability and also stable energy yield and less risk for the asset operations. And yes, I wanted to use the opportunity to point this also out. Um, last year when we started with all the evaluations, we could also see that those top cells, they are more sensitive uh, due to the front side um, contact in comparison to the perk cell when it comes to humidity, yes. But there's even possible to go to two times um, Dempeat, so 2000 Dempeat is possible, and even to three times um, IAC is also possible. But yes, there is a, a deviation between the double class concept and the class foil concept. So we start with class class at the beginning, and probably a quarter later, when we also finish the three times IAC, also external reliability tests. And also we will start with a class foil module, but there is no risk um, or, or concerns that uh, those modules behave in an abnormal way. No? So when you know how to do it, when you select your bill of material in the right way, focuses on encapsulation material and also the back sheet, then also for the top concepts, they um, provide a brilliant reliability. So due to all those tests we did internal, externally with institutes together, we came to the conclusion that's a real asset for the end customer to increase also the warranty, the product warranty. So we provide an excellent warranty, uh, 25 years for our products and then a 30 year linear warranty with a 0.4% annual year degradation. And then of course, additionally to this salt mist, uh, sand and, and sand, um, we have also ammonia, both tests we all have. Um, and we want to provide even like further tests, for example, when it comes for the Dach region in Europe, the EN13501 is a further test regarding fire. So please don't hesitate to contact us when it comes to those, those points. 
yeah, like a short introduction regarding our main anti products we showed during the snack and intersolar here some some highlights so as the colleagues before also mentioned it was a fantastic snack and fantastic intersolar it was really busy uh, those three days in intersolar went uh, very fast away our booth was always really busy and crowded and we signed several strategic corporations also with um, tov rheinland for example as we can see here or with dimension munich AE, which is a real asset for our customers and received the pvel top performer award or from EUPD research. So really successful InterSolar and we can't wait to see the next InterSolar. Uh, when we have a look to the portfolio we showed, um, we go with the 54 as the residential module and with the white foil and also with our well-known full black module. Additionally to this, we offer also the larger modules 72 and 78, but as mentioned, we want to make it easy for our clients at the moment we continue with the same module dimensions and we had them with perk to avoid further changes in the construction and also due to some further um, mechanical topics we address to this and that's why we will continue at the moment with those m10 wafer formats one highlight is the full black module where we can combine our very aesthetic approach from the perk we had together with further technical advantages which comes now up with the n-type cell. No? So we have the better low light performance, a very good um, temperature coefficient, and then also the excellent warranty. So this as a combination provides a really interesting product. Additional to this, we see still a demand for class 4 modules. So when you can um, provide also TopCom modules with class 4. You can achieve, for example, um, hay test um, class 4 in Switzerland and further advantages will occur also for the flat roof mounting systems and especially also the weight is also reduced. But we will continue with a two millimeter double class because also of those mechanical requirements we have. And then additional to this for the class foil with the well-known 3.2 millimeter class. And then all the other uh, product features, also the dimensions remain unchanged. Two highlights we just want to point out here is from the greenhouse series. So DMAC is pretty famous in Netherlands also when it comes to those uh, greenhouse products. We applied also for the InterSolar Award 2023. It's a really interesting product. It's a perfect combination of the photovoltaics with the agriculture use. We can uh, use those four uh, substrings with the M10 wafer format, where we have also the module width, as you can see here, and the module length. And we have better growing conditions. Uh, we have um, higher agriculture yield due to the protection against um, wind, dust, also hail. So it's a clear advantage. And also for me, really interesting, we can save up to 20% um, less water and especially for our customers in Spain and also now France, which is getting more and more important, also the reduction of soil erosion. And the last USP we would like to highlight here also is the regional development is also possible. So when it comes to rural communities, they also can benefit from the locally produced electricity and provide also new revenue streams. And the last product um, is also a really special one, is the uh, Ypsilon frame. We can see here the colleagues at the great shop in the Netherlands. We are um, building 20 to up to 50 megawatt projects with uh, this design. So we have a unique design for those products with the Ypsilon frame with 12 millimeter height, which perfect, uh, perfectly fits to the four meter size of those green um, houses. No? So it's a um, high, construction strengths available, outstanding performance, and also due to our 43 years of experience in manufacturing, it's a clear asset also for our customers. That means overall for us, it's clear where the path will go. N-type is the future. We have the power increase, we have higher characteristics, uh, we have a better temperature coefficient. Um, also the low light performance was explained when it comes to the project business. We did a four megawatt project comparison on the M10 72 sizes in, in the Hengdian where we have for the levelized cost of energy like a pretty even like 4% uh, drop and also in general higher yields no, in comparison to PERC. So for us, the path is clear. The future is sun. 
deeply want to thank for the whole Taijiang News team and for your attention and now open for further questions. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Rene. I think this is very nice uh, product overview and also very interesting to know your company background. So, you know, I have one question. Um, you have a production house in, in China and then you are focusing more on European market. So, so what is the main difference uh, in, when it comes to products, when you want to uh, build products for Europe? Uh, so what, what do you find as a difference? What's the key? Yeah, the key I would say is always like the requirements from our customers. No? So we have a really strong cooperation with long-term partners and we are working for them in design products for the markets. No? So we have a lot of um, small modules in our portfolio, like we call it the, the residential application modules, which fits to the requirements, but then also like the larger ones, we can say like 72 designs when it comes for project business including also the greenhouse applications. No? But it's a little bit um, special when we talk about Japan, for example, we also provide a module with one meter uh, in the length and width. So this depends really on the needs of our customer. And then together with our great R&D and PM colleagues, we provide them for our customers worldwide those solutions. Okay, so that means you are more a, a custom tailored expert. So, so you really tailor your products according to the needs of the customer? Yeah, I would say like this. Yeah, we, we came a little bit from the OEM business. So we did a lot of OEM uh, in some regions. Um, but in other regions, okay. we have a huge uh, brand awareness, for example, in the Benelux region, but also like in France due to our excellent uh, carbon footprint. And then we are really working close with our partners together because, of course, we provide products to our clients and they... Uh, know how to deal with the products, what are the requirements, and we combine the technology we have and our long-term manufacturing experience together with the needs of our um, clients. Okay. So thank you very much, Renee. It was a very nice presentation.